Give me a beat. Sin win coming in, never fitting in. Anytime the haters knock you down, I help you up again, friend. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Cindy Winters here with another video. Let's go. So today I'm gonna to talk about the responsibility of the principal standby in a Broadway show through my time at Hamilton. If you like this video, I invite you to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll be posting more videos like this every week. If you have a specific question, just hit me in the comment section and I would be so happy to create a video to answer your question. And make sure you watch to the end of this video so you can pick up all the things that I'm putting down, all right? So today I wanna to talk about the responsibilities of the principal standby. What is a principal standby? Now the principal standby is an actor hired to be in the building for every single show, but that actor doesn't go on stage every night. They are backstage ready to perform in the event that the main playing actor is absent. So absent for whatever reason, sick, uh, vacation, any sort of emergency, that principal standby is ready to go on at any point. So that was the responsibility for my role at Hamilton. And I covered Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. I received the call from my agent. Now my agent is the person on my team that is hired to represent and sell my talent. Their job is to call, pick up the phone and call casting directors and really just convince people that you are a wonderful talent and uh, business. And yes, your talent is a business. And I will make a video about what that is like and how to treat your talent like a business. And also I'll create a video about what an agent is, what a manager is, what they are not and how they are similar and different. But until then, onward. Now in every audition, you get audition materials. Now sometimes in shows you will be asked to sing something from your own personal song repertoire or your book is what we call it. Uh, but you'll always get sides or you'll always get parts of the script given to you by casting or by the producers or by the director. So in this case for Hamilton, I got five songs because there wasn't any official like sides or there wasn't any official copy from the script because everything in the show is sung or rapped. So I just received five songs. And in those five songs was uh, the Skylar Sisters where I had to learn all three parts per sister, Helpless Satisfied, Say No to This, and Burn. So I had to learn all of those songs for my audition. And then what? I go in there, I sing the songs, I get some notes, notes. Notes are important. Notes are given to you to make sure that you are easy to work with. You can pick up what the people from behind the table are putting down, okay? So then you finish your first audition and you go home and then what? You get a call back. <laughs> given that you get a call back, to quote my favorite candy, Reese's peanut butter cups, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, there's no wrong way to book a gig. So my experience, maybe a little different from another actor's experience, just based on the project, the role, what process the project may be in at the time. So keep that in mind when you audition and you get a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth callback for a role. Sometimes they just need to keep seeing you. They wanna see you grow. Sometimes they wanna see if you've gotten better over time. So now I've gone through my audition material. I go through my first audition. I go through my series of callbacks. For me, I had three callbacks. I had the initial audition, the callback, and then I had a final callback where I'm able to just do all of the material. I make sure I rehearse everything. I put together all the material again and again and again. And through each time I get a callback, I get specific notes. And so I go home and I work on those notes and then I come back and I crush it. So then I booked the gig. I'm officially a Hamiltonian in the world, the greatest city in the world, the greatest city in the world. And I got to start rehearsal. So the rehearsal process is a four week process. This is pretty standard for Broadway shows, particularly for replacements. So what I was, is I was a replacement. I was the first replacement in the Broadway company for the principal standby position. With replacements, they go through a four week 
rehearsal process. And how do we begin that process? The very first step is you have a music rehearsal. You sit down with the musical director and they walk you through the entire show. Make sure you bring your tape recorder or your phone and you can record the entire session. Once you record the entire session, it's time to go learn choreography. So you head over. What I did is we head over to King's College. King's College is where we learn all of the choreography for the show. So there is a rehearsal room where the stage is completely taped off. You have all your designated numbers. You have the markup of the turntable. And then you are guided by the dance captain to where you're supposed to be. And then we move on to the stage. It's our chance to get on stage. After we do our choreography, we head on stage and we do blocking. And we get to walk through everything we learned at King's College onto the stage. Now again, this is a four week process, so it takes you a week to learn everything at the same time. You're doing pretty much eight hours of rehearsal a day for four weeks. So the show is really intricate and there's a lot to learn. So you wanna take your time with how you learn it because it's an overload. And make sure that you're a good note taker. Be better than me, be better than me. So after your staging rehearsal, if you are a standby or a swing in the show or you're a new cast member, you take part in a very special event during the show called Swing Sing. All of us, I would say sometimes it would be 12 people at a time upstairs on the sixth floor rehearsing for Swing Sing. Is that right, Ian Weinberger? That is correct, Cindy Winters. Awesome. So after we learn our music and we go to King's College to learn our choreography, and we come back to the stage and we learn our staging and we do our Swing Sing, we go through our first put-in. And a put-in is where you are in complete costume, you have all your music, you're mic'd up, you have your wig on, you go out and do your entire show with the cast, and then you're pretty much ready to perform on stage during show. It's showtime. Now, I also get this question about my first time on stage as each role, and uh, I will confess that my First time, my Hamilton debut as Peggy Mariah was one for the Burr's Corner books. <laughs> I go through my entire process. I go through the music, I go to King's College, do my choreography, I come back, I do my staging, I do my, my swing sing, I do my put in. I'm ready to rock. I'm supposed to go on stage. All right, it's places. We go on stage, it's the time for Skylar Sisters. And Mandy Gonzalez goes out and Lexi Lawson goes out and I go out and the first line is Peggy's line and, and she's supposed to sing, Daddy says to be home by sundown. And I'm standing there and I don't hear anything. And Mandy Gonzalez is looking at me like, and I'm looking at her like, and she's looking at me like, and I'm realizing there's nothing happening and that it's my line and I'm supposed to sing. Oh my gosh. The way that that felt like an eternity, like bombing on Broadway in Hamilton. Oh my gosh. It felt like, an hour had passed. But literally, I made it just in time to say, Daddy says to be home at sundown. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Once I was able to make that mistake, I did not die, so that was great. And then the rest of the show was smooth sailing. But it, right after that number, I immediately walked off stage and proceeded to turn on my Instagram and record the Chronicles for Burr's Corner. And for those Hamilton fans, the Hamill fans out there who remember Burr's Corner, it was right on Brandon Victor Dixon's Instagram page. And anytime a mishap or something, somebody fumbles on stage, they go directly to Burr's Corner and they confess. That trend even went on to other shows where friends who were in the cast of Hamilton went into other shows and did mess up. And they said, listen, I am going into Burr's Corner. I need to confess what happened. So. <laughs> Head over to our Instagram and hashtag Burr's Corner and you'll be able to find all kinds of fun little treats and stories about our Hamilton mishaps. Miss Hams? Miss Hams. So for my first time as Eliza, we were doing a 
maintenance rehearsal. Uh, we call that swings and things. I was doing my uh, part as Eliza during this swings and things rehearsal. And the stage manager pulls me aside during our break and she goes, how you feeling? And I said, I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, she says, great, because uh, I think you're going on tonight as Eliza. And I was like, awesome. I down my salad, I do my warm up, I'm ready to hit the stage for Eliza. And that was my debut as Eliza. And for my debut as Angelica, we were in Swings and Things rehearsal. I had my put in for that day, my dress rehearsal for Angelica. Here I'm signed in about, the stage manager calls a 15 minute call and they say, Cindy Winters, could you come to the stage management office? And I said, yes. As soon as I get to the stage management office, they say, you're on as Angelica and the show starts in 15 minutes. I'm like, ah, let's go. Now the way that my mind account is set up, I have this weird thing where I jump into like this adrenaline rush and I'm just like so ready, so down to like jump in and like make it happen. Um, I think it's because of my freestyle days or my, my rap days, my songwriting days. I love just creating and being put on the spot for something. So when it comes to times like that, I'm, I'm so down. So that was my experience as a principal standby in Hamilton and it's super dope. I hope this was super helpful for you giving you a sort of idea of what the different roles are, which roles keep the show going. Big salute to my principal standbys and my swings ensemble for holding every single show on Broadway down. All right, everybody, that's all we have time for for today. Be sure to come back next week because we have more videos to come. I love you, stay safe, stay wise, stay woke. I love you, peace. I'm gonna rise like a phoenix.